Okay, so I thought it would be easier on this first uh, piece just to show some of the things I've learned both for myself and if I want to share this with my students. So uh, let me click somewhere else and unselect that. So I started off with um, this phone was green and we used the, the chroma key to cut it out. But the first thing that I learned was actually when I went to file and import and file, which is how you want to pull stuff in, is that if you drag it to this button right here, it makes a new composition, which that is really, really cool. I did not know that it could do that. So that was the first thing that I learned. Um, of course, I already knew about, you know, showing things and hiding things. Um, I did not know that I could take the, the hand and, and then uh, turn off the transparency and make it more transparent, you know, make a transparent background, which that's pretty cool. Um, and you could see it um, because of this, this background here. So what you're seeing here is that there is actually, um, if I hide all of this, there is a, a hand and we've cut a mask around the outside of the hand and lined it up. So let me just talk about you know the highlights of what I've learned. Um, of course the chroma key which was under um, effect and color correction and oh, effect keying and key light, sorry effect keying and key light which lets you pull out the green screen and you can use a little eyedropper to get that um, out. Now I also learned that the composition and composition settings sets your standard background color and we had to set it to black for this otherwise it would have looked weird um, behind it so I learned about the composition settings which I had no idea about that. Um, I also, yeah, toggling transparency, but the other thing that I thought was cool was like I'm hitting the T button and that shows opacity or transparency, S for scale, and I'm showing these different pieces of it. However, I can also show all of the effects and everything. So everything is attached to this and I don't think I ever really understood, you know, what was happening with, with all of that before and that's really awesome. Of course, still the layers are, are fine. Um, this shows me, you know, what um, what's attached to it and I never really, you know, understood that. Um, I also think that, um, that where it attached the, um, of course, there's a mask there but um, unclicking this little constrained properties and then changing that to negative to rotate, I mean, that's so much easier than what I was using before. Um, perhaps, though, one of the coolest things was this puppet position. Now, you can see these little dots, and I'm going to need to hide the um, hand that. Okay, so the way I got that was, was using this little puppet position pen tool. Um, which I had never seen before and then I was able to click and put these little dots here and of course if you take the hand and you're going to show the hand and then we're going to take the opacity of the hand down so actually I can just click um, T for transparency actually I don't want to hit T of that, I want to hit T on that yeah and I could take it down and you can just slide this down, I didn't know I could do that but take that transparency down of that um, and then if I go to the hand and I'm looking at the mask right now and I don't want to look at that I want to look at this puppet thing that's just so crazy awesome there we go puppet and this is when I get the little dots and you can see these little yellow dots I just clicked to put them there but if I click and move them I can move to make these fingers line up the thumb was really a mess because like it was way over here but I'm able to line this up with this thumb which is just insane and awesome so you can distort objects and of course this is a photograph and kind of change it I have no idea how the puppet would work with a video I'm very curious about that we also changed the tint to make this look more bluish um, and that was that was neat to do as well um, so Puppet was awesome, and then let me uh, take this opacity back up here, and just watching the workflow just kind of blew my mind because I just learned all these things I had never known before about how to work with this stuff. Um, it helps me so, so very much. Um, but also the mask. Um, now the mask was necessary because there was actually this big like text here and some other stuff here so I just took this cute little uh, pin and was able to click and draw the mask around it 
and then um, it we just put the black background behind it so you can see that there's a back, black background I did make a little mistake there oops I don't know if that'll make a difference I've already rendered it so it probably doesn't make a huge difference um, anyway um, so then okay so I've got that and then of course I can click and then click off it to turn it off oh, that's so nice now the other thing that I had no clue is I had been rendering wrong um, out of, of just like everything so composition and add to Adobe Media Encoder Q was a big one for me and you can see I've already done it once and it suggested you know doing like a Vimeo 720p HD as the format you know obviously there's other formats that you can do um, I do a lot with YouTube so I think I'm just gonna render this as 720p YouTube because I think I'm gonna put it on there but then also clicking um, how I can I'm gonna put YouTube version and um, and then just click save and then when I'm ready for it to go um, I'm going to uh, if that thing will go away here hit escape maybe it'll go away uh, or I can just move this okay here we go and so when I hit this then it's going to export it in the proper format and it's doing everything for me which is just so so very cool and of course I'm recording in ScreenFlow and rendering video so I, my Mac is still running I'm happy with that but um, anyway that is what um, I have learned